guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Rosie and thank you so much for taking a moment out of your busy day to spend a few moments with me so in today's video we are going to be making this super sweet little treat holder it's in the shape of a pizza box so if you're ready let's get started all right so what you're gonna need is a piece of um, scrapbook paper I'm using double-sided so that the inside looks pretty as well and you're gonna need a piece that's four and three quarters by eight and a half and we need to make a few score marks in order to um, get this box done up right so let's put the paper in on the eight and a half inch side and we're gonna score at one three and three quarters four and three quarters and seven and a half and then we need to turn it around to the four and three quarter inch side and we're just going to score at one and um, three and three fourths okay that's all the scoring that needs to be done let's go ahead and just fold on our crease marks okay Okay, so now you have your piece that looks like this, right? So we have a one inch, we have a one inch on the top and the bottom on the side and the side. So one inch going all the way around with one inch in the middle. So what we want to do is we're simply going to make cuts on the sides up to the score mark. So let's go ahead and just do that on both sides. And I'm just cutting right up to the first score mark. Turn it around and do the same thing. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite Halloween movie. What do you typically like get excited for um, to kind of kick off that Halloween um kind of season for me it's hocus pocus i just it's it's a must watch if i'm going to watch anything at all that's what starts off my my season so to speak kind of like home alone is yeah ha i have to watch it on thanksgiving night it's just a must all right so now we've gone ahead right and we've released all the sides these are all our tabs Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to create our little box. So I'm going to mock do it just so you can kind of see what I'm going for. All right, so it's sort of going to be like this, and then this will come over and in. Okay, so let's get it started with adding our, adhe our adhesive to the side so I'm gonna work on oh let me just get some more glue all right let's go ahead and get some adhesive down on our middle tabs I'm using my reptile glue and I'm gonna place it on both might as well do both on one side and I'm just gonna bring it up to the bottom to meet flush with the edge so we keep that shape and let's do the same thing to the other side okay let me move this out of the way it's okay if it leaks out that means you have enough adhesive on there to really hold okay one more time on the other side Okay, so now what we have is something that looks like this, okay? So now what we need to do is on this end here, we have our two tabs. We need to attach it to the inside, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and add some glue and bring it in and flush to the edge. okay and do the same thing on this side 
Let me see if I can move this back so it's easier to see. Okay, and then again, just flush to the edge. Okay, so now there is our box. All so right, now. let's make a couple of cuts. I'm just bringing in my smaller ones, and I like to do it at this point just so you can see why we're doing it. So when we take these two tabs here, right, we're going to put it inside of the box just like that. Now, these two tabs that are here we need to remove. So go ahead and get rid of those two corner boxes just like that. Okay. So now we have something that looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and just lightly angle cut these two sides here. Oh, sticking a little bit and here just a little bit doesn't have to be a lot okay so we've angle cut here now if we bring in those I pushed it into the box and we can bring this in as well just like that okay so now I'm just gonna angle um, I'm going to use my corner rounder just a little bit, just to angle cut them just a little bit. doesn't have to be a lot. Okay. And then I'm going to take my little notch, which is a circle punch, and I'm just going to make a very little kind of thumb notch here, just so that it's easy to open the box. Okay, and that is all that it takes to make your little box. So let's go ahead and close it up. So I'm just gonna bring in the tabs inside of the box, and there you have it. A simple little box to put lots of little treats in there. And now that we have our little thumb notch here, it's easier to open and close our little box. Now, if you want, you can use craft cardstock so with that it's thicker and scrapbook paper. But um, how quick was this little box? And it's perfect for the treats that I'm going to be adding in here. All right, so like I said, I just went really, really minimal with the decorating. But of course, you do you. Get as fancy as you want to do it or just be as minimal, depending on who you're gifting it to, right? Because if you're gifting goodies to a little child, they're not going to necessarily care about the packaging per se. They just want to get to the goodies, right? Or if you're gifting it to, you know, somebody else who recognizes, you know, the detail that you went into it, then obviously go as fancy as you want. I always kind of look at it that, you know, if I, before, when I used to do my grandson's school parties, I would make 30 of these and I would go into detail, but not so much because they just want to get to the goodies. They don't necessarily care. They're just going to open it, fling it, so they can have their, their goodies, right? But depending on who you're going to gift it to. But at the end of the day, you know what? It doesn't matter because whoever you're giving something to, it's your unique gift, right? So they're going to love it because you took the time to do it, whether it's your grandchild, your postman, you know, your co-workers, your neighbors, you know, the list is endless. But no matter which way you go, there is no right or wrong way to do it. Just do whatever makes your heart happy. That's it. Just make your heart happy. It's going to all work out in the end. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much. Your support goes an awful long way. 
you know, I welcome all the comments. I like to interact with all of you. So if you have a moment, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think and if you think you might get try your hand at making one of these. All right, guys, until the next time, stay safe, be kind, and keep it creative.